yo yo welcome to the master class session one i will be your teacher today my name is lady morgan welcome to um final fantasy tactics for the original playstation what i'm going to be showing you today is my master save file i've been working on this particular save file for over seven years off and on for seven years let's get that straight but the last five to six months, I've really been working on it about eight hours a day. I have every character completely maxed out. And um, you name it, I've got it done. I'm basically your tactics master. So if you have any questions or comments about what I'm doing or what you think I didn't do, feel free to put them in the comments below. And I will graciously shut you down. In my opinion, Final Fantasy Tactics is quite possibly the best game ever made for any system, and especially during this time era of the, of the late 90s. Um, the game came out to the U.S. in 1998, and it's just, uh, definitely still in my heart immediately. So I've had over a dozen save files, and this is the one that I've really put my heart and soul into. So let's take a peek. First up, I'm gonna um, show you my characters, my items, my propositions, my treasures, everything. Anything that you can think of, I'm gonna show it off right now. And if, like I said, if I forget something, um, please go ahead and um, write about it in the comments. I would love to um, tell you what went wrong or what I didn't do, so. So let's start. Uh, first, I'm going to show you my characters. Ari Stramza, Morgan Talley, Mustadio. Uh, there, some of these characters, um, they're all either hidden characters or hard to obtain characters, uh, such as Cloud, who is pretty much a, a worthless character, but you can pick him up off of a side quest proposition. So here, of course, is my leader, so let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you my items. So Chaos Blade is the hardest thing to get in the game. So just take a peek at what I have here. I have to move kind of quickly due to time on my save file and with YouTube. So if you want to go slower, just uh, go ahead and slow it down a bit and take your time. So he can't be equipped with everything because he's a squire. And you're probably wondering why I have 15 of like a Defender and Save the Queen. And there was one small little um, trick I used, which I didn't learn until about two weeks ago. If you want to know about it, I will um, definitely tell you about it in the comments below. If you want to know. I like to try to keep... Um, 15 of everything uh, due to the fact that I have 15 usable characters. There was a time when I was trying to get 99 of everything, but I just kind of gave up on that because it was just destroying my money. Um, and I wanted to get over um, a certain amount of money when I did this uh, video, but I've invested pretty much everything into, whoops, uh, pretty much uh, invested everything into some random stuff I shouldn't have. So we got rubber costumes and a Maximilian, uh, Genji armor. Uh, these are some very rare items you can get. So here's Morgan Talley, my character, personally. Um, she's got something really cool in her relics. Um, it's very hard to obtain, and only the female characters can use it. And it constantly puts you in re-rays and re -beam. Uh, even if the character dies, I mean, not dies, dies, but if the character falls in battle, um, she'll always get back up. So Morgan Talley and all the other females in this game are absolute killing machines. So if you take a look here at Mustadio, um, he has an angel ring equipped because he cannot be equipped with, uh, obviously, some of these things that are for female, but I definitely always want to keep a uh, re-raise ring on my characters. Um, because that's most important to me. Healing your characters and taking care of your crew uh, is always most important. So 
So I'm just going to roll through and show you what everyone's equipped with. You can take a good look at the Brave and Faith levels. They're quite high. Christopher is a special case, so I'll explain that in a bit. Alright, let's take a look at, um, change job here. So we're going to go through everything really quick with each character. I don't want to take too long, but as you can see, the star above their head means that they've uh, hit level 8, which is the highest level that you can get as a job class. At the end of the game, I realized that most most of your characters are best at their original job, you know, such as uh, Aragus being a Holy Knight and Hrafa being a Heaven's Knight. Now, other people like Malik, which he's not one of the best characters, but I found him better off to be a monk. Arlandu is probably the best character in the game, especially if you keep him at a Holy Swordsman. Zion Thought is a character that I made. I usually name um, all my characters Thought when I play RPGs because I'm a girl, obviously, and uh, I need a name. So Jonathan JP is named after my husband, who is a mathematician, so I thought it only proper to make him a calculator at the end. You have the choice to pick up Beowulf if you want to. And then here's this little lever, Rice, or Reese, whatever you want to call her. She, in my opinion, is the best female and the second best character in the game. I don't care about that guy. Um, here's a character I don't really care about. I can't pronounce her name properly, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. Cloud, in my opinion, is pretty worthless. Jacob Jakerson was named after my cat Jacob, uh, who unfortunately passed away uh, before I could finish this. So... Next thing I'm going to show you is my abilities. So here you go. What's unique about Ramza is that the only way to master him as a squire is that you have to learn the Ultima spell. But you can only learn the spell in about three or four battles. I know one of them is battle 48, uh, 52, and I want to say... You can also learn it on the Deep Dungeon, which is the 10th uh, level down, which I'm going to be working with here in a minute. You have to get hit and survive the ultimate spell. Uh, same thing with Summoner. I only have three mastered Summoners, and the reason being is that you have to get hit and survive the Zodiac spell at the end of the Deep Dungeon, which is not easy to do because you have to do it when you have MP switch on, and it only works about 80% of the time. So again, here's another Master Summoner. You'll see Mustadio was not mastered, obviously, because he was not in my party, and as you know, you can only bring uh, five characters in, uh, which is another reason I'm not going to get into the story so much, because if you're watching this video, it means you already know uh, basically everything there is to know about tactics, and you know the story pretty well. So I'm not going to waste my time with that, because time is limited. Zion Thought is another character that is completely maxed out. He was one of the ones that got hit and survived uh, the Zodiac spell. Christopher is a special case. Uh, Christopher actually died in October, um, so I spent three grueling months, eight hours a day, getting him up to par. But he originally did know the Zodiac spell, but the original one died, like I said. Stupid mistake. Cloud's pretty worthless. Yeah, it's pretty worthless. Alright, and there you go. There's the force. Uh, get a good look at the Brave and Faith levels um, and all that good stuff. So let's move along to the Brave story. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, let's take a look at the people. Ares Ramza is uh, 36. Uh, when I beat the game, officially he was 35, which was my age, and I thought that was cute. Here's everyone's beloved Alita. Um, there's your brothers. I'm going to show you a couple of other ones. This is funny, because um, Orianus is actually a baby when you start the game, and now he's 20, so that shows you how much I've put into this game. Um, our TG Sid's fun, uh, he's 75, <laughs> so <laughs> he's been uh, trucking along with us for a while. 
And then, of course, I, here's the guy talking right now. He's, he's getting up there in age, too. He's not as old as my dad, so I'm not going to hate on him too much. So here's all the jobs, the propositions. Like I said, I'm just going to roll through them real quick. And uh, take a look. I have every one of them. land. Oh, some of these are so beautiful. And a lot of them actually refer to other Final Fantasy games. Especially ones, you know, that are quite old. I love that picture. So I have a, a star here because I have every one of them. And the same thing with treasure. For some reason in this game it didn't give me the star. But I um, definitely have every single rare item and treasure. But I think what went wrong here is that I did not use a certain job class when defeating one of the propositions. Um, so here is Serpentarius, which um, is a 13th Zodiac song. You get this one when you beat uh, the end of Deep Dungeon. Again, that's the guy that you have to get hit and live through. Um, so, as you can see, I have over a thousand hours into this game. I've been working on it for quite a long time. So, uh, let's, let's get into it. I want to get into a good battle here and kind of uh, showcase my killing machines. So, I'm going to go right to end because usually in this one you can get a really cool battle. There's a certain battle I'm looking for and it, it's just not appearing for me right now. I can basically pick any characters I want, but I do have a, a specific crew that I like to use, so let's hope I get into that battle I'm looking for. Um, you can definitely run into some really rare creatures here, a lot of three-headed dragons and stuff like that. And that's the battle I'm looking for. Okay, well, this isn't what I was seeking, but this battle's okay, I guess. I think I'm going to restart and just see if we can't get a harder one, yeah? Let's just do a quick restart, and I'll jump right into it and see what we don't get. So I'm interested to know um, how many hours any of y'all who played this game have in. Um, this game is just mesmerizing to me, and in my opinion, it's quite possibly the best video game ever made. The replay value is a 10 out of 10, so that is something that I definitely look for when I play RPGs, JRPGs. Uh, definitely need that element of replay value. So let's see here, hopefully we'll get the battle I'm looking for this time. If not, once again I'm going to have to redo the save file, which I've been working so hard to get this done and it's just been a nightmare. Come on, big money, big money, the big money. What's crazy is my uh, first two runs through this. Aha! There they are. This is the battle I wanted to show y'all. Perfect. As you see, this is an extremely difficult battle right here. You are definitely dealing with uh, some of the hardest enemies in the game, if not the hardest. So let's do it. Let's uh, see my killing machines in action.
So there is one more three-headed dragon, and it's the hardest one. And if uh, that last uh, battle you saw me do where I reset, that's definitely him or her or whatever it is. I think all the I think all the enemies are unisex. So. I usually keep all of my people equipped with either time magic or item. Especially when you start the game, it's it's vital that everybody knows how to use item. It's important that you learn Phoenix down immediately in potion. And then as time goes on, you want to learn X potion and get rid of every single one of your normal potions or high potions. Equip auto potion so every time that you get hit, your auto potion will regenerate 150 instead of 30 HP points. Don't worry about her. She, she's a killing machine. She'll be alright. say ninja, samurai, uh, those are two of the best classes in the game. They teach you some of the best stuff. And they're just overall um, pretty dope. Several suits, sir.
So basically, we, we are about done here, and I'm going to try to wrap it up the best I can. Um, this is something that I've been working on for a long time, and I really couldn't wait to show it off, because one day all of our little save files are going to corrupt, and I wanted to document this. It's very important to me. Uh, you can call me dedicational or <laughs> dedicated or delusional, but this is definitely something that I thrive on when I play uh, RPGs and some other video games in particular. Um, I just, I just want to do it to its ultimate completion. If you're going to play a game, why not beat the fuck out of it? So, um, in another video, I'm going to be doing a speed run of the end, which um, I can get done pretty quickly. The only problem is, is that there's so much talking that kind of cuts away from the battle. So with this hit, this will be the end. So I thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, if there's any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. I will be more than happy to make other videos to show other things off or uh, whatever it is that you'd like to see. So um, congratulations, this game is officially completed. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Lady Morgan, Tally Demon, whoever you wanna call me with session one of Masterclass, and I'll be back in a few months with my next video. Thanks so much, guys.